that team we call United? Who's that team we all adore? Yes, we play in black and white, and we all know how to fight. We'll support you evermore. Yeah! Hey up everyone, it's the Yorkshire Magpie here. I hope you're all doing as good as I am. I can't believe it. I'm in a state of shock. Is it, is it too early to say we might win the league? Newcastle United have finally won a game of football. Unbelievable. Unreal. Thank you! Now, before we talk about the game, I just want to talk about some feedback I got from my last video from one of my nearest and dearest subscribers. I received this lovely message from my gran, and I'll read it out to you now. Are you ready? <clears throat> Story time with Danny. <clears throat> Hi, Daniel. I have just disappointed your dad, because I said I didn't think your last football commentary was up to your standard. Now, the reason is really because you talk too quickly. Like lots of pros, you forget all of your audiences are not young. I love the Yorkshire Magpie, but please just go a wee bit slower and remember that when you're back on stage again, which I hope will be soon. Thank you so much for your feedback, Gran. I'll, I'll keep that in mind and apply it to the video. So yeah, Newcastle have just had a 2-1 win against Burnley. I'm joking, Granny, I'm joking. Please, please, please still send me my pocket money. I'm so, so sorry. So yeah, 2-1 win against Burnley. Let's break down the game. Looking at the team sheet that was released before the game, it was really, really nice to see Wilson back on the bench after two months out. And I was really, really hopeful that he'd get on the pitch at some point. Also, it was really nice to see Alan St. Maximin on the bench today. I was hoping he was going to start, but obviously he's struggling with his fitness due to long COVID. So it was probably best that he did start on the bench and then he came on later on in the the game. And what a performance Maxi put in today, but we'll get onto that later. So the game kicked off and we definitely started slower than Burnley, which was quite worrying to see considering this was probably our biggest game of the season. We needed a good result today. Fulham have just lost two games on the bounce. We have two games in hand. This is our opportunity to get out of this mess. So it was definitely worrying to see us start slow. And to be honest, we were pretty shambolic for the whole of the first half. Burnley had so many corners which kept the pressure on us and they had so many more chances than we did too in the first half. And Burnley managed to finish one of their many chances when Westwood has the ball. He passes it along to Wood on the left-hand side of our box. He works it really well to get it into the box and Vidra's there to finish it. Shocking defending on our half. It's really not good enough. Wood got away from Clark far too easily. Uh, Fernandez wasn't in great position in either. He probably should have come back a little bit as he was pretty much useless being directly behind Clark. And they managed to finish it off. Dubravka played out of his skin today. For me, he was man of the match. In my opinion, he was definitely the best player on the pitch today. It definitely could have been more than one for Burnley today if Dubravka wasn't on the pitch. He literally kept us alive in the first half. The defence were all over the place and obviously they need to take responsibility for that. But I don't necessarily think it was all their fault. When Callum Wilson and St. Maximum came on for Joe Linton and Dwight Gale in the second half, they added so much more pressure at the top of the pitch. That pressure made Burnley sit deeper and took so much pressure off our back line. It's amazing how much difference two players can make. We didn't see much of Wilson today. He wasn't on the ball a lot, but his presence alone scared the Burnley back line and made them sit deeper. And that's all that was needed. That presence alone gave St. Maximin the space to work his magic. We did have one good chance in the first half before they came on though. And Murphy crossed the ball into the box. Gale got his foot on it and it was a brilliant save by the Burnley keeper. Burnley were missing Nick Pope today, who I believe is their best player. Peacock Ferrell stepped in for him today, who's quite an inexperienced Premier League player. So we definitely should have tested him more in the first half than we did. But like I said, it was a great save by him to stop Gale's attempt. Also controversially in the first Half, we didn't get given a penalty for something that was quite clearly a penalty. Targovsky went to clear a ball from Burnley's six yard box and ended up kicking Longstaff in the head. Now, it clearly wasn't intentional. You can see that from the replay. He's looking at the ball and he's gone for the ball. However, it's a high boot. It's dangerous and it shouldn't be allowed. That was 100% a penalty and I can't believe it wasn't given. I honestly don't know what goes through the referee's heads because there was another high boot on Longstaff again in the 73rd minute, but because it was outside of our box and not in Burnley's box, he got a free kick. 
So that one's a foul for exactly the same thing. So after taking a bit of time to think about it after the game, I think you're allowed to kick someone in the face in the box, but you're not allowed to breathe on them because if you breathe on them, it's a penalty. Anyway, let's forget about the first half. Today, I'm not about the negative vibes. I just had my fingers crossed that in the second half, we'd come back stronger. And in the first 10 minutes of the second half, it was pretty much the same thing. However, as I said before, when Wilson and St. Maximin came on in the 56th minute, the game completely changed. There was an instant impact from St. Maximin as he ran down the wing, saw that there wasn't really a cross on, so he passed it back to Murphy, and Murphy scored an absolute screamer. What a goal by Murphy. I personally think he didn't play great in the first half, but I'm glad Steve Bruce kept him on because I know he's capable of creating moments of brilliance like that. So we were back in the game, but I knew how vital it was that we got the three points today. So I was just hoping that we'd be able to push on and get another. And there it is in the 63rd minute, Shelby's on the ball. You see St. Maximum in between the Burnley lines. He passes it to him. St. Maximum makes a great run. None of the Burnley players are going anywhere near him because they know if they do, they're going to get pushed put on their bottom. St. Maximum does a cheeky little Ronaldo chop to get it inside and he smashes it into the bottom corner. Ooh, yeah, do the Mexi dance. Yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah, mm, mm. I'm a massive fan of the celebration, Maxi. If you ever want to dance off, hit me up. The boys put in a good shift for the rest of the game to keep us 2-1 up. I'm really, really happy with the effort of the boys today. But I'm not going to lie, for the last 10 minutes, it was a little bit squeaky bum time. They had a few good chances, but again, Dubravka was there to save our bacon. We did have a good chance in the 89th minute, though, to bury the game. Longstaff sent a wonderful ball through to St. Maximum, who ran it down the wing. He worked it really well to get it into the box towards Wilson. It fell just short behind him, but actually fell to Miggy, and Miggy just just couldn't finish it in the bottom corner. It would have been amazing if he did. So the 90th minute is upon us. We see that there's four minutes of extra time to be played. Brucey has one substitute to keep this lead. He needs to use it wisely. Who's he gonna bring on? And then I see him stand up. No, Brucey. Please, not again. Please, not Jeff Hendrick again, Brucey, please! Jeff Hendrick comes on in the 92nd minute for Almiron, and it was basically like playing with 10 men for the last two minutes, wasn't it? Okay, maybe that's a bit harsh, but I would have just liked to have seen someone else, anyone else from the subs beds come on rather than him. But it doesn't matter, we get the win anyway. Come on, the boys! So to summarise, first half, not great. Second half, much better, and moments of individual brilliance got us the win today. Let me know what you thought about the game in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.